Hello, class. Benjamin Harrison is the only grandson of a president to become president himself. So Benjamin Harrison will be born August 20th, 1833, and he'll die March 13th, 1901, age 67. Uh, as it comes to home state, um, it's Ohio slash Indiana. So he is going to be born in Ohio. His father was a congressman from Ohio. He um, is going to go to college in Ohio. But for his political career, he's going to do that in Indiana. By matter of religion, Benjamin Harrison was a Presbyterian. And then here's like the connection they has. So... Um, His grandfather is William Henry Harrison, President of the United States, best known for being the first one to die in office, the shortest presidential term. Now, William Henry Harrison's father was called Benjamin Harrison, specifically Benjamin Harrison V, uh, who was a founding father, signed many of those uh, of the documents. So he's coming from this really well-established family, and of course his dad is not terribly well-known, but he was a, a member of Congress. Um, some people want to hear about Grover Cleveland, the fact that when he was 49, he married the 21-year-old daughter of his former business partner, and they kind of icked out by that. Well, <laughs> Benjamin Harrison, who originally marries um, an age-appropriate woman named Caroline, um, and, you know, so they're going to have kids together, and then she dies while he is president. And so he brings in her niece, Mary, to be the, like, basically the substitute first lady for the rest of the time in office. And then a couple of years later, he marries his dead wife's niece, who was 25 years younger than him. So... Between him and Grover Cleveland, there was some some weird stuff going around with the age gaps. Um, so he is a member of the Republican Party. Term of office from March 4th, 1889 to March 4th, 1893. His vice president was Levi P. Morton. Um, so Benjamin Harrison was a is a general in the Union Army. If you look at like the age setup, he would have been 27 when the war broke out um, and going into his 30s as it went around. So really fit that that age. He is going to be United States Senator from Indiana. He's going to serve only one term and then kind of focus on getting into the presidency. And then so he wins the Electoral College in 1888 while losing the popular vote. So a couple of things for Benjamin Harrison. While he is president, he is going to be the one that signs the Sherman Antitrust Act. that helps the first one to kind of break up monopolies for businesses in the United States. He is going to sign into law the National Forest Service protecting parts of the United States and to the natural beauty. Uh, he is going to be the one that has electric lights put into the White House. His first wife was incredibly skeptical of these. And if we go back to look at him, um, at Christmas, he would walk around the White House dressed like Santa for the amusement of children. And if you look at him, he, he fits the bill for like what you want out of a Santa. Um, so, um, 1892, he loses re-election to Grover Cleveland. This is right after his wife died. Um, and then he goes and he you know, marries his wife's niece. Um, and so, you know, he has a Grover Cleveland on either side of him. Um, but he comes from, you know, this still is presidential lineage 
of his grandfather and him.